welcome back to my videos for those new here my name is joe i inherited a farm from the old man after he passed away these videos are kind of a record of my progress so as suggested in my last video and the video previous we were ordered by the local authority to clean up this yard which i was unaware we owned or dad owned at some point still owned um as you can see i have kind of cleared the bushes and kind of tidy up a little bit um i did manage to pull out the excavator from behind this building at this point this building i am probably going to take down it's it's not usable basically um, so this will be coming down at some point clear it i'm not sure what i'm going to do with the land itself uh, the field we'll definitely use i may if i decide to i may make this into one big yard um keep that as the entrance and possibly put this as an entrance or block it up i don't know yet ideas are running through my head I may even just lease it out and see if anybody could use it. Right, a lot of things have changed here. The big ramp, what I think was a ramp for loading trucks, is back at the farm. Um, everything kind of works. I mean, the wheels were moving. Um, I haven't unfolded or anything to see if it properly works um, I'm basically going to give it a clean up and go through it at some point as you can see a lot of things have been moved got a guy coming back well, I have had a guy come in and shift some of the scrap uh, he is coming back for the rest I think either today or tomorrow I'm not sure he seemed to be good so I might keep these uh obviously the open bags i will get rid of this generator will go that i'm thinking i can't use it so they will go as well the old cedar got pulled out it seems to be working order don't know whether we'll actually use it i may give it a run at some point um probably going to be one may keep it as a spare in case my one the one i use packs up other than that it will probably sit somewhere until i have time to actually go through it um the wood yard i have asked at the wood yard for this lot for the lumber i'm going to keep some for myself because obviously you could always use some wood somewhere they seem interested, but they are in no hurry to uh, come in and get it. So that's going to stay for now. Not sure. I've asked a local builder whether he could use any of this. Seems interested. He's going to be coming either today or tomorrow to have a look. So I get something for that. I don't need any slabs, otherwise I would have took them myself. I still might see what he wants first he's going to take all these tiles i think he can take if he wants a pallet he can have those as well we'll see what he wants right as you can see the old three-wheeler motor which i believe is dad's old motor what well, i have confirmed it's dad's old motor so the only difference is there's different paint on it and Obviously, there's a different number plate on it. But I've checked. I found the serial numbers and checked the paperwork. And it has been confirmed it is Dad's old three-wheeler. Did not know he still got that. My impression was he actually scrapped it. It was a, a kind of a lucky find. It was kind of tricky getting it out of there. Lucky I had some help. We managed to shift it. The only thing I haven't got started yet, or haven't even started to get going on, is this tractor. 
seems to be that old one again the number plates are different they will need to find some serial numbers or something there is paperwork for it with the numbers on so i need to find where they are and see if they match see if this works i did find a key for it if it's the one let's see if we can get this going this is kind of stuck solid so i cannot lower or pick it back up if it's lowered so that needs some uh, work done let's see oh it nearly started Ah, come on. There we go. Got it. We got it. It's a smoker. It does need a service. It needs some filters done. Um, it needs just a general overhaul, I think. It would be nice to actually have it running in, on the farm, considering if it is the old man's I remember this when I was a kid so kind of brings back little memories let's see oh, front works as well even better right let's see if we can move this out steering wheel is a bit stiff but it's to be expected come on one of the front tyres were flat so I've had to pump it up I believe there's a small hole in the tyre I mean these will need new tyres anyway front ones are really cracked quite badly she's out if it is a she who knows I know he, dad used to call it a she really nice to see that going it is somewhat smoking which I was expecting so what we got left that's going to be taken that's going to be taken I am going to keep these because we could use those in the barn the cow barn uh, the border party We'll see if the local authority or somebody that deals in them can use it. We'll come back for the cedar. Let's see if uh, I'll either bring this tractor back or I may bring Dad's Ford down because that might carry it. The rest is kind of done. More scrap there that he's going to take. The thing I'm looking at now is, as I said, what to do with this area. That is just the next part of it. And is this going to be better going forward or backwards? Will this fit with the other vehicle on the front? I don't know. We'll soon know. I don't want to hit motor in front right yeah, let's move that make sure the arm is fully down it is say front loader right there arm um, I'll come back with the telehandler now then, when it comes to the excavator, I don't know whether this trailer is big enough. Um, I have got it running. So it will start. I don't know with the size of it, whether it will fit on that trailer. There we go, we got it. 
This also smokes quite badly. Again, just need service. Everything seems to work. I have not used a excavator before, so I don't know the full controls on this. So no doubt we will find a way of doing it. Find a booklet or something and learn. Just sit it, sit in it and have a play about. I used to do that as a kid. Just sit in a vehicle and just pressing buttons, moving joysticks and all that lot. Right. Not sure if this is going to fit on the trailer, but let's get these other two back. Um, I'm going to have to push the car off. Unfortunately, I still don't have a key for it. Can't find the key for it. So that's going to have to be pushed off. Right, let's see how this goes. Well, okay, nicely, you can stay there. Uh, nobody can come up the road at the moment due to a truck, neighbour's truck has broken down. Should be able to get out. Let's see. Yeah, we're out. We're good. Need to come back for the telehandler, cedar, and come back to the toolbox. Now we've taken that with me now. As you see, the other farmer's got broken down down there, so can't go that way. I'm trying to keep this road clear because it does get used by other farmers. Right, let's get these back and then I'm not sure what to do with that. I'm going to have to take it back to the farm anyway. It's a case of where do we put it. Push this car off as well. Yo. Massey will come in handy. I've been looking for a oldish uh, tractor to muck out the cows every morning. That might just be the one. Right, I'm going to get back to the farm. We'll see you there. Right, everything has been unloaded. Thing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can get the excavator to fit on there and bring it back. I think I'm just going to give everything a clean up. Get some of the dirt on it. Off it. Uh, the ramp that I was on about, over here. Put it over here. It's the only spot I could really find for it. Um, you don't need anything that's in this part until potato harvest. So it should be good here. Again, I will clean it up and uh, see what needs repairing, if anything. Right, I need to get back to the old yard, see if this excavator will fit. I'm hoping it will. And it's a process of cleaning up and uh, repairing. Right, we are nearly back at the old yard. Uh, vision where I'm going to park this thing so we can get the excavator on, if it fits. Now I'm expecting the scrap lorry at some point. I don't know if he's here or not. 
one of the reasons why I left the tally handler here so we can get the stuff out. Right. Oh, hello. Now we've got the place here. Very rare I see a patrol come down here. Sometimes they do. Um, let's see, can I... Figure out how to turn around now he's parked there. Maybe I'll do it that way, fortunately. Pull in here for a minute. Get it off the road. Ooh, looks like the scrap lorry's here. Position this just right. I can just drive straight up, hopefully. He's dealing with that. Should be good. Wonder if I can back this out once the excavator's on is the question. Um the other thing is buckets. We seem to have two here. I might change if I can figure out how. To the other one. Looks like that pin needs to come out. Put this one on. Started up nicely. Right. Uh, no. There we go. Gonna work it all out. Seems to move nicely. There's not a problem there. Um, I think I'm going to put this back in front of the trailer. Sorry. I think. Way up. Just level that to the trailer and see if we can actually get on. Ooh, that's going to be tight. Don't have any extensions for that either. Right. I've had to call in that favour from a friend. I wasn't happy with the way that was sitting. Um, so, luckily he was free. He was happy to help me out. So he's just finishing off, fixing that down and getting ready to move. For me and this lot, I've got to wait for the scrap man to finish. Then I shall load the cedar and telehandler and everything will go back to the farm we got everything loaded everything looks good as I said he's just strapping down I wasn't happy with the overhang on that trailer on both sides so obviously he's got the right equipment he owes me a couple of favours so pulled him in Next job for me at the moment is basically 
sorting out what I've got at the yard, doing what I need to do, and then figuring out what to do with this. That building's definitely going. I may see about possibly renting this out. Um, field at the back there, I'll probably say probably. I am still thinking about turning that into grass and probably using it as a sheep pasture or goat pasture because we still need to get that sorted out as well. I do still have some feed troughs and everything so we could set it up. But other than that, we are good to go. So we're going to get this sorted out. I have been given the opportunity drive this rig uh, I'm going to pull this out and he's going to follow behind in the tractor so let's see if we can pull this out oh, didn't do that too well did I Luckily I do still have my license for driving trucks and part of my job was heavy haul hauling things like excavators I'm going to get him to pull forward because there's no way I'm going to get that round that corner so if he pulls forward I'm probably going to have to back all the way out right We'll see you in a moment. We'll just get uh, adjusted and then we'll get back to the farm. Okay, we're good to go. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in a truck of this size. He is driving the tractor behind me. I didn't ask for me to drive this, he offered because he new I used to drive I've got to say it's not my colour scheme but that's him it's up to him what he has in his truck right with me driving this and getting back to the farm I think I'm going to hold this video here call it a day on this one thank you ever so much for watching I hope you do enjoy or, or did enjoy the video next couple of weeks is going to be basically preparing and getting ready for harvest obviously the animals will go out soon so we be uh, some kind of busy Let's see if we get around this corner without taking any trees or anything out This rig. Good. Right. Thank you ever so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye for now. Mm -hmm.